Now, after you have the first clip, we have a little bit of like a space right here of time that allows us to digest the clip. And then right away, because it's following the pacing of the song and the beats, we can see here that it mixes with the magic mask and the shape mask reveal for the next clip. As you can see right here, that's basically it. Now, again, we have the shape mask and then revealing it like that. So what we just saw is a mix of a magic mask and the shape mask transition. So how to do these? Well, first of all, we're going to do these with these two clips. We have this first clip and we're simply going to remove the subject of that first of that second clip that's coming in and then use the magic mask inside fusion. I like to do it inside fusion because once it sort of is cached, then you can still do a few like cutting and move things around without it breaking and having to retrack everything. If you do it in the color page, you have to like re-render every single time. At least that's how it happened to me. So that's why I do it this way usually. Now where you have marked the beats of the song, you're just gonna add a cut right there. And then we're gonna activate these clip under it as well. Clip. Now make sure both of them are time. If you move this around, then the clip is gonna get messed up. So make sure they are in the same timing, right? Okay, now we're gonna use the quick mask tool in the edit page, but if you don't have it, you have to go into Fusion, then you create the mask, then go out, cut, adjust the mask, and to repeat that process every single time. So I created the quick mask tool so that you don't have to do that. So we just add it right here, and we can actually go to the Fusion Overlay section, and then we're gonna select like rectangle right here, and we can move our mask right here. We can start it right here, Okay, after you have that one, you can go to the next beat, cut these again, and then some I don't know why it's doing this right now, but if you have the issue of these polygon sh thing showing up again, just go back to the inspector, select rectangle right here, and we're going to go down to the rectangle center, and then you can just adjust this manually right here. Now, if you don't want to do it manually right here, you can right click, go to select control, and then select the size right here, and that will select that rectangle. And then you can adjust this manually right in your inspector, right in your viewer, I mean. And then we can turn this overlay off. We have that mass transition. And you can play around here with the different shapes, like ellipse or polygon if you want to make a more random shape. 